Today we're going to learn how to play Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. This is one of those piano bar classics that makes everybody go crazy. It's like an extreme song that everybody loves. It's a lot of fun to play, and I'm going to teach you some cool little tips and tricks to make this really sound authentic. If that's what you're looking for today, stick around. I'm Brenda Earl Stokes. I'm the owner and creator of Piano and Voice with Brenda. I make creative and practical resources for singers, pianists, and music educators to help you level up your skills and become a more versatile musician. We're going to use my typical um, song learning routine where we're going to work on the chords and the voicings. We're going to work on the accompaniment strategy, what rhythm to use, etc. And then we're going to add some more details in. We're going to sing all the way through. Let's make the magic happen. Starting now. So first thing to know is that this song is in the key of B major, and that means the key signature is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. And so if we were just to play the B major scale up and down a couple of times, not a bad idea to get yourself kind of situated in the key, okay? So we're going to start with the intro of the song, a great place to start, and it goes... And it does that again. Then it goes. Da, da, da. Okay, so it goes. Da, 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 da. Exactly. So what the left hand does, or the bass player is doing, is pulsing on the F sharp. One, two, three, four. And that's the intro. Now, if you want to stay there, that's totally fine. You can scroll back a bunch of times until you get it under your fingers. Here's how I like to play it. I like to harm this. It's it's just the um, French horn that's playing that in the um, in the original. I like to harmonize it in thirds. So. I always play it this way. And this part in sixths. Okay, so that part goes da 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 da. Then I flip to harmonized in sixths. So let's try that with the pulsing left hand. Right? Yeah. So that sounds a little bit fuller. You're welcome to play it the um, just the single line way if that's easier for you, but I just want to give you some options here. So we're going to start out by playing the verse of the song, and we're going to start out with a B major triad in second inversion. So this is it in root position, and then I'm inverting it down. So we're going to go, and then your left hand is going to play the bass note. So where it began. Then we're going to go up to an E chord, and I'm going to play it in first inversion. So that means this is root position. This is first inversion, G sharp, B, E. I can't begin to know when. Back to the B in second inversion. But then I know it's going strong. There's the F sharp triad in root position. It was in the spring. Then the E chord in first inversion. Then spring became a summer. Who'd have believed you'd come along? Great. So we're going to go from the B to the B6. So this is the B triad still in second inversion. 
And then when we go to the B6, we're gonna move this bottom note up to a G sharp, like this. So it's gonna go hands, touching hands, then F sharp in root position, reaching out, then to the E in first inversion, touching me, touching you. Now, this is a little fun thing to add, but you're going to go bum, 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 sweet Caroline. So that's what we're going to do. Bum, 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 bum. This is the walk down. So you're going to go touching me, touching you, two, three, four, bum, 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 bum. Okay, so that's, that's where we're going to end up from here. Okay, so we'll go to the chorus in a second, but I want to give you some more time on the verse first. So we're going to try this one more time with all of the information here. So um, right from the verse. Where it began, I can begin to know when, but then I know it's going strong. was in the spring then spring became a summer who'd have believed you'd come along so here's the b shape hands then b6 so the f sharp goes to the g sharp touching hands reaching out Touching me, touching you, then dee, da, da, da. then it goes sweet Caroline, okay? So it's that B major in second inversion to the E triad in first inversion. So there's the third, the fifth, the root. And then we have our all important da, da. Da. Now, if you want to play it in one one line, da, 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 you're welcome to. So, sweet Caroline. Then you can go ba, ba, ba. Or I like to play it in octaves. Ba, ba, ba. Good times never seem so good. Then you can do the walk, walk down. I'd been inclined then. Ba, 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 to believe they never would. Now you're going to go, but now I'm. Okay, so this part, we're going to go from an E minor chord or an E major to D sharp minor to C sharp minor and then back down. And so if you want to practice that down, we're just walking the triads down the scale. I'm going to play it in first or second inversion. But now I, okay? So let's do the chorus one more time. Sweet Caroline, ba, ba, ba. Good times never seem so good. I've been inclined, ba, 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 to be. So we've now done the entire song, right? Because we have the chorus covered, the pre-chorus, we've got the verse covered, we've got the intro thing that shows up again later. We have all of the main kibbles and bits of the song here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come up with an accompaniment strategy that works. And there are a lot of different ways you can play it, but I'm going to give you a couple of different ideas that you can try. And again, when we're doing this, we're not, we're just trying to reinvent or recreate what the original recording sounds like. So there's no perfect right answer. This song doesn't really have piano in it anyway, so we can kind of do what we want. But what I like about this song is the feeling that it has this pulsing kind of sound, right? Where it began I can begin to know when But then I know 
walk down, right? I always do the walk down. Was in the spring. Then spring became a summer. Who'd have believed you'd come along? Then you can do the walk down again. So I kind of like the way that this one goes. I tried a few different ones, including like one that sounds like that Sarah Barella song. Where it began. So that's another way you could try it, but let's stick to this one first. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, ba do. Two, three, four, ba da. 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 Two, three, four. down again. Hands. Touching hands and you see how I can go bub up, bub up, or I can drop the octave, boot up, boot up. So that's fun too. Hands. Touching hands. Reaching out. go but now I see how that works so again if you want to keep this simple and just pulse like this that's completely reasonable but if you want to add these further details in you are welcome to because it's just again adding these couple of little things to recreate the original recording now you might go in and say oh, I want to kind of play more like what the actual bass player is playing all of that is perfectly fine but this is how I myself have been playing this song for far too many years in piano bars on cruise ships and all over kingdom come so let's do a little playthrough of the entire song together and as i go in i'm going to throw a couple of other little details in here and there just to give you some ideas on how to do this remember this is not perfect this is not a perfect art there are a million different ways of playing it which is why i do this and not working in a bank because i like to keep things kind of loose <laughs> so here we go uh, one two three four
of the night And it don't seem so lonely We fill it up with only two How can I hurt when holding you? Warm Touching warm Reaching out Touching me Times never seem so good, so good, so good. I've been inclined to believe they never would, but no, no. We've got the intro again. Times never seem so good I've been inclined To believe they never would Oh, no, no And then you're just there all day playing all the way through. As you can see, we took it one step at a time. And if at the end of this tutorial, you're like, eh, some of these details I don't think I can manage, it's totally fine. Stick to what you can play. If you wanna try the accompaniment strategy and just play root position triads in your right hand, that is totally fine. If you wanna do the inversions like I showed you and experiment with that and add the walk down and all that kind of stuff and to go ba 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 in, one note or in an octave, all of that is all good to go. The important thing here, in my opinion, is to make sure that you can play something because it's better for you to be playing a little something than a lot of nothing. And so if you get hung up on the small details, it'll keep you from being able to play music. And hey, that's no fun. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you today. If it was, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you enjoyed about the video and, you know, how it worked for you. If there were some details that you particularly appreciated or if you have any questions, I am here to help. If you want to learn more about me, you should definitely check out my website, pianoandvoicewithbrenda.com. I have a ton of really fantastic resources on there that you can check out. You can learn how to work with me. And you should also know about the Versatile Musician, which is my all-inclusive membership program that consists of, you know, over a dozen different courses that teach piano skills and musicianship skills, also has tons of great video tutorials like this. And my members actually get printables for each of these song tutorials. It's it's a really cool place. Not only do you get all of that, you get live support. We do a monthly Zoom call where I answer questions and give custom tutorials for the people. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy practicing.